right now, what you're hearing is the speaker. The moment I move this, let's see if this works. Right there, nice and loud. Move it. Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflict City. We're reviewing Oddfly, essentially the glass speaker. Now, this is actually a very unique particular speaker, not because of the fact that it's made out of glass, but the fact that it uses focal length technology to essentially create a focal audio. Now, how does that work? It essentially creates a beam of an audio. So literally, you have to stand right in front of it to get that nice cruise audio quality. And the moment you step away, it's as if you're not even hearing anything at all. Now, that is absolutely crazy to think about that this is what technology has come to in which today will be unboxing, so if you guys want to learn more about them, check out the link down in the description. And without further ado, let's take a look. All right, so we got these two packages. So we have two speakers, left and right. Uh, let's take a look and see what's inside. All right, so on top here, we have a quick start guide, kind of showcases how to set this thing up. So you couldn't even set it up vertically or horizontally based on your preference. And so it comes with a miniaturized driver that you can connect them to, uh, and then you can control the audio from there. And then it works via Bluetooth or aux cable based on what you're trying to use it for. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it seems like a pretty simple setup. Let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> what the? <laughs> this here is our speaker. Dude, it's got like almost like a little bit of a wave texture going throughout it. That is actually really cool. I'm kind of curious to see how this plays out. Now, uh, very lightweight, surprisingly. And then uh, you have this essentially like, oh, cool. It's actually a little stand. So you can technically have it set up like this, or you can have it set up like this based on what your preference is. Let's take a look at what we're working with here. All right, so this here's everything that we got. So we have our driver right over here. So you have this lovely looking metal controller with this almost like LEDs kind of indicating the volume control. On the back, you have your two different outputs. So you have your left and right, you have your aux port, you have your USB-C, your 24 volt DC port, and then it's on off power switch right over here. Now this one actually did came with the aux cable, so that's kind of nice that they include that. Uh, then these here are the stand uh, pieces. So this way is gonna be our vertical. And then from there, we're gonna screw this in. Now our speaker is set up for our vertical uh, setup there. You can also do it horizontally. So for instance, if you want it horizontally, you just go ahead and rotate this back uh, leg piece like this. Now this will be our horizontal display. Uh, and then from there, you can go ahead and essentially put this piece over here to kind of keep it flat and make sure it doesn't fall back. But for this purpose here, we're gonna keep it vertical, just kind of show it. Now you also have a, another port here if you wanna go ahead and mount it like on a tripod or something like that. It's based up to you on how you wanna do that. All right, and that is essentially our setup. Now from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it into the back of our driver, uh, coresigned with whichever speaker we're looking at. So this one's gonna be left. From there, we're gonna plug it this into our wall. This here's our power cable. And that is it in a nutshell in terms of how to go ahead and set this thing up. Now from there, we're gonna hit the power button here on the back of our driver and this will boot up an LED right over here just like that and just turn on our Bluetooth connectivity so once that happens we can now search for it via our phone or Bluetooth uh, connectivity device and we should be able to control it and essentially play music through it now it's important to note that dual speakers offer a stronger bass compared to a single speaker additionally dual speakers provide stereo sound which enhances the overall audio experience now this extends just beyond music playback it can also enhance sound in terms of movies videos and conference calls now it also provides a superior room setting compared to single speaker and can go ahead and offer improved sound isolation and create independent audio zones in an open environment now in this particular situation or example we'll be doing a single speaker just because the microphone of the camera works better with one rather than two so just keep that in mind if you do decide on purchasing it So right now, what you're hearing is the speaker. The moment I move this, let's see if this works. Right there, nice and loud. And then you move it. Do you hear that? That is absolutely crazy. Now, it can bounce off the walls in which you can actually hear it a little bit louder, but I mean, 
Oh my God, it messes with your ears. So literally the beam can go from left ear to right ear. And that is actually cool. Now it does have an audio control here. So you can technically increase or decrease the volume. And it does give you a little bit of feedback of exactly showing you the volume meter as it's going up and down. So right now I'm playing a video of my own, but yes, that is exactly how it works. And I have to say, this is definitely the future of audio and creating private audio and none less to say. Now the cool thing about the fact that it has a very localized beam of audio is the fact that you can sit farther away and actually hear audio just as loud as if you're standing right in front of it. And that is because of the fact that it is literally localized in one spot rather than spreading it throughout. So yeah, there you guys have it. Now if you had any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.